What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be starting a new project on my 1965 Mustang. Like I've said before, I can't stop myself from taking it apart, so here it is. It's back in the backyard. But anyways, we're going to be working with Willwood again, and we're going to be putting a rear disc brake kit on it. And you run into some issues with a solid axle car. You know, the previous owner could have put on a different rear end. There's so much variation in the years, so we're going to actually measure the rear axle and make sure we have all the precise measurements so that we could order the appropriate kit. So I'm going to walk you through that. So hopefully it won't be too hard to get off those drum brakes. So let's get to it. So it was honestly not that bad taking apart the drum brakes. I did get stuck on one thing and I looked up a video from Chris Fix and he got me right through it. So I'll put a link for that video down below. But it's pretty funny, it's much easier to take apart things than to install new parts. So then I took out the axle shaft and my dad helped me out cut off the backing plate. It isn't necessary for the measurements, but if you're gonna put on new brakes, those backing plates have to come off. So now that we have the axle shaft out, I noticed that this bearing isn't that smooth. It's okay, but since it's already out, I'm like, let's just go take it to a shop and get a new bearing press on so I'm gonna do that also make sure the car is in neutral and the handbrakes off because it's gonna make this job a lot harder than it needs to be so now that the brakes are off and the axle shaft is out I'm gonna show you guys how to do the measurements but I'm also gonna link down below Willwood's video of how to do this because they also show how to do a Chevy rear end so let's get to it so Willwood has a diagram that shows you how to make all these measurements so I'll put a link down below for that and there's also a form that helps show you exactly what measurements you need to make. You're also gonna need something to measure with, but honestly, a tape measure isn't really gonna cut it. You need something that's gonna get you precise measurements. So that's why I use a measuring caliper. So the first measurement you're supposed to do is measure the bolt holes on the axle flange from center to center. And I got roughly 3.3 inches. So then the second measurement you're supposed to do is measure the bolt holes on the axle flange vertically from center to center. And I got roughly about two inches. Through this whole process, I try to be as precise as I could be but you know it's pretty easy to mess up just slightly but it's just important to be as precise as you can be. So the third measurement asks you to measure the center of the axle shaft and I got roughly 2.4 inches. The fourth measurement asks you to measure the stud diameter and I got about half an inch. So the fifth measurement is a little tricky and that's to measure the axle offset. So what I did was I had my dad get a piece of metal to act as a straight edge so he held that on to the axle housing flange and then I took the caliper and I measured from the axle shaft face all the way to the face of the axle flange. I know it sounds pretty warty but if you look at the diagram it will make sense so just keep that in mind. But I got about two and a half inches. And on the sheet it asked for a six measurement but that didn't really apply to my axle so I moved straight to number seven which is to measure the axle bearing outer diameter and I got about 2.8 inches. So I took a look at the measurements I made and I confirmed it's a small forward rear end and that's what I thought it's a four to eight inch. So it was nice to confirm that and now I can order the correct kit and I cannot wait to go to rear disc brakes. The drum brakes, I don't know, they always go out of adjustment and one like wheel locks up before the other and it's hard to get perfect. So I can't wait to put on a new set. But I highly recommend doing the measurements. You kind of already have to do them. You, you know, you have to remove the drum brakes to put on the disc brakes. So do that and make sure you get the right kit because if brakes are slightly off and you ordered the wrong kit, that can't be good. You know, brakes are the most important thing to your car. You need it to stop. So I'm super excited to put disc brakes on the car, but with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video, and we'll do the install. Where does Lindy 